Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, wine today is Orben. Uh, Orben Rioja and 2009 vintage. Um, they've gone, it's one of those bodegas where they don't bother with all the crown for reserve and, uh, and stuff like that, aging things. And uh, they, they, the aim is to, oh, there's 74 micro parcels of Tempranillo. So, must be good. Let's give it a whirl. So, a big, um, I mean, it's 2009, and uh, I can still feel the oak imprint here. There's this uh, giving this smoky, uh, toasty character coming through. Uh, behind that, it feels like the fruit has, uh, has gone really quite ripe. Um, and get, I, get, I get what I call the, uh, this dry brown sugar uh, a character. So the flavours of brown sugar, but it's not going to be a sweet, uh, sweet wine. And, um, uh, and then dark berries, damsons. Uh, it smells... It smells good and it smells concentrated, uh, but it's slight concern whether it's going to be just that little bit too too ripe. Let's see, and yeah, big, bold, fleshy style. Um, it's um, let's see, have a see, alcohol wise, fourteen and a half percent. So I mean, there's there's loads of wines around that, are that but I almost wish they'd got it at fourteen percent because um, uh, there, there's nice berry fruit, uh, but it, there's also this slightly raisiny character of the fruit that's uh, the, uh, as if some of the berries have just started to shrivel, and um, you're you're not left with quite as much freshness as I'd like in the wine. Um, so um, I, I know a lot of people who love it, but for me, they they've slightly missed out on. Uh, I, I think Good Rioja has intensity, but it also has a little bit of freshness. Here, they seem to have gone for power rather than uh, finesse, and uh, I prefer finesse. Hey, see you soon.